flagship project, please join me in welcoming Jeffrey Perkey. I seem a little bit spacey. I've been sniffing all those oils to start up past around. <laughs> I don't know. Does, does that mean I'm holistically inclined towards a variety of oils? I don't know. But they smell pretty good. And they taste pretty I good, too. <laughs> I really enjoyed them. As Starla I told you, I am pre presenting the results of my high-performance leadership project, which was the recent club contest that I believe most of you attended with the exception of our guest, who we'll meet later. You have a handout before you, and before we start, actually I've already started, so I won't say before we start, I want to place this in context. You have a handout that explains how you achieved the Distinguished Toastmaster Award. That's the highest educational award in Toastmaster. It starts at the bottom and works its way up. I've highlighted in yellow where the Distinguished, excuse me, the High Performance Leadership Project comes in that hierarchy. Now, for your information, where I am is I long ago completed the speeches part of it because, frankly, I just can't stop talking. So every place I go, I give a speech. And when you give a speech everywhere you go and you always have your book with you, you run through a whole lot of speeches pretty quickly. In fact, I was looking at my uh, current record because I keep a record of almost everything. I'm up to, last count, about 123 speeches I've given since I joined. So I just keep speaking and speaking. The leadership side is almost always the one that's a little difficult. It takes a while to get the competent leadership book. Then you usually get your advanced leader bronze pretty quickly if you're a club leader, as you can see. Then you wait and you wait and you wait to get your advanced leader silver. I should probably have done this high performance leadership project when I was an area governor, but I didn't, so I did it for the club contest. After this, the only thing I'm waiting for is to sponsor or mentor a new club. So. If any of you have a club in the works, come to me first. The High Performance Leadership Project is a specific Toastmasters project that comes with its own manuals. You have a large manual that is for the leader where you go over your leadership objectives and the various things you're going to do, the various meetings you're going to have. Then you form what is called a guidance committee. And the guidance committee gets a smaller book to help them with their performance of their duties as part of a guidance committee. I was fortunate to have two wonderful guidance committee members, Starla and Rachel, as a matter of fact. Now, I'll tell you a funny thing that happened the second meeting. I had started off with three contestants for the contest, for both. Well, I was pretty happy with that. Then one dropped out. Now I'm down to just two, and I'm struggling going, okay, two speakers is okay, but only two in table topics doesn't get it. So, both Rachel and Starla, in unison, almost chimed in, well, why don't you invite, and then they named some names. And since I don't know if they were happy that they could be in the contest, I'm not going to name who named which name. <laughs> but they specifically recommended people to invite. And I thought, that is a great idea. And it is a perfect example of one of my favorite mantras that no one of us is as smart as all of us. So my guidance committee was extraordinarily helpful in making it a better contest for many reasons, but that was one key reason. We had four contestants in table topics, which made it a lot more enjoyable contest than just the two. What's funny is I run contests. I don't know how many I've run. I run them at the area level. I run them at the club level. I run them at the division level. That was such an obvious answer that I missed it. I couldn't, I mean, it was just like, oh, God, only two. What do I do? What do I do? <laughs> they both popped up right away and said, why don't you invite these people? And I go, uh, is there any way I can take credit for that idea? <laughs> you know, that's a pretty good idea. So the guidance committee serves as essentially your board of directors for a high-performance leadership project. <clears throat> and you meet a specified number of times. Then you have a post-project meeting. And then you deliver on your results. My goal was to conduct a fair, well-run contest that was fun for participants and contestants alike. I think we achieved that goal. If you attended the contest, it was a lot of fun, very enjoyable. Uh, we settled on three keys to make that goal happen. We wanted to recruit a solid team to help. I started with the guidance committee, so that was a great start. We wanted to begin and end on time, and we wanted to stay within budget. Now, I'm going to take those in reverse order. 
We have a budget of $100 a contest, but we combined both of our contests this time. So I assumed a $200 budget, and I was well within that. I spent $138 for the total of the prizes plus the, I think it was about $138. You've all seen the budget that I sent around. Uh, I meant to check the figure, but it was about that. So we're well under the $200 budget. We began on time and we ended on time, which I have to say kind of surprised me. One decision we made that helped us stay on time was we waited until the end of the meeting to count all the ballots. If you recall, we went right from table topics to the contest, and usually they go out and count ballots in between the contest. And that one decision we made as a guidance committee really was the key to getting starting and ending on time. And then we recruited a solid team. We were fortunate to have almost everybody in the club be either a participant in the contest or a helper. So we pretty much recruited everybody. That morning was kind of interesting because I started off the morning with only three judges, but two were kind of in the maybe list. And I got a call from my friend John Davis who said that the other club had canceled their contest, that they were available. So we ended up with a full complement of five judges. So we, we had, oh, there's a so. Who's our grammarian? Oh, I'll count it. There's a so. I get a so. We, don't, we count so's here. So's are bad. <laughs> we had a wonderful contest, began and end on time, stayed within budget. Everybody had fun. And I want to encourage you on March 23rd, our two winners are here today, Michael Soms and Ken Castico. They will be representing the club at the Area 23 level at UNR. I'll have all those details on an email. But we want to get as many people there as possible to cheer them on. Uh, they are wonderful contestants. I think they're going to do wonderfully well at the area level. And I look forward to cheering them on, possibly even to victory. Maybe, maybe this club could have the next world champion of public speaking. It was a fun project. I encourage you if you get an opportunity, think in terms of, it does not have to be a Toastmasters item, think in terms of a high-performance leadership project.